exactly are people doing on WhatsApp? WhatsApp just keeps on coming up with new features that change the entire game again and again and again, right? Yeah. What is exactly WhatsApp up to? Yeah, I mean, I think it's not WhatsApp's features. It's WhatsApp's lack of features, right? You can't complicate WhatsApp even if you want to. <laughs> you yeah. can only send or receive a message, right? right. So that's the, what do you call it, that extreme simplicity of um, uh, what do you call it? WhatsApp is, uh, I, I don't know if you mentioned it in, in your intro of WhatsApp, you know, the founder had a, a something written behind his um, um, chair. Uh, it said, no ads, no gimmicks, no bullshit, <laughs> right? So that was like the, what do you call product map of WhatsApp, just uh, like what not to do, right? right. Uh, so that's, that's kind of what took it so far. And at some point, yeah, you'll have to monetize and all that stuff. So that's what they're starting to do now, but that's what allowed them to kind of, built that um, uh, leading position here right so that um, so so when uh, what do you call it? everybody and their mother is using whatsapp the thing is communication started happening it's like the way i i say it is it's like the early internet right um, where people were starting to kind of uh, put things there share things and right. then it evolved into yeah, we want to do segments appeared and we want to do uh, all these things so for me I, I say WhatsApp is the internet of the uh, developing world, right? Or uh, it's it's almost like an alternate internet so, where people are communicating, you know, consuming news and entertainment, falling right. in love. <laughs> All that stuff is happening now, and it's it's evolving. Those uses are evolving. Of and um, what do you call it? Now that the API is open, we may find uh, you know use cases developed where all these things are making easier. One of it is uh, e-commerce. E-commerce, absolutely.